Okay, Chiefers, responding to member Zoe123 from Chief Talk. Uh, his name's Barry, and he's, first of all, he's giving me a compliment. Thank you, Barry. Um, second part, is, and really appreciate that. Uh, second part is, have you found a better way to perform searches in Chief? They seem to have something against Aristotelian logic and Boolean. And, you know, I agree. Um, and the short answer is no, but let's go ahead and do a video that's going to be somewhat of a complex video for maybe doing some more refined searches in Chief Architect. So right off the bat, if you saw my um, another video where I explain how to do cloud syncing across multiple devices with multiple user libraries, you can see that this is working perfectly on my end. I've got a laptop with its own user library. I've got a desktop without its own user library. And both of those libraries show up on both of my machines automatically being synced across the cloud. And, um, and that comes into play here because we're going to do some kind of tricky things. But before I get to that, let's just start with the basics. Um, one is is that you know maybe not everybody knows some of the cooler parameters in the chief library and um, so for example I know that I built several symbols um, that are manufactured by Smith System it was for a particular job I was doing and you'll notice that we've got three items here that show up with the name Smith System and then we've got three items here that show up and they don't have the name Smith System. So where are they getting that from? And one of those items is even from one of the manufacturer catalogs. And that's because I went in, I right clicked, I looked, I clicked on search attributes on that item and I wrote in keywords Smith Systems. So if you've got a crazy inordinate amount of time on your hands and you'd like to really make your library function at, at tops, you could go in and, and put in keywords for every single one of those items that you really want to be searching. So that's kind of a Boolean-esque you know, limiting factor where you can put in uh, search terms that, that um, don't have any commonalities with the actual item's name so that just when you search that search term, it's limiting in the same way that Boolean is in that you can find just that particular item with that particular search term. It seems like a lot of work though to accomplish that and I've actually slowly been doing that in my own user library. The next thing is you know you can obviously build filters and we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, another thing that's important to note is that if you right click on a folder any folder in the library, you can search just that folder. So that if I know that Smith Systems, I believe maybe in, actually you can actually shift select multiple. I know my Smith Systems item is in one of these. So I can shift select multiple folders. You'll see it says right there, searching exterior furniture and two more. And I'm gonna type in that uh, Smith System again. And there it is. Those are those three items that are within one of those four folders that I just highlighted and searched, which lets you know that there's something, you know, deeper in this in that there are some search terms. There are some there's some kind of coding built into this system. And maybe someone that's more knowledgeable than I can figure that out. Um, so that's a couple great key tips to do. Then the next is, you know, creating filters and just off the bat, we've got a filter, and, and I've um, for every item you select here, it, that will disclude that item from this filter. So I've got all my core catalog selected, which means that when I've got the test filter on, you'll see that the Chief Architect core catalog disappeared as a drop-down menu, right? And so. This is very helpful for when you want to search between your user library and one of these catalogs, right? Or, or just limiting to those catalogs. The only thing that you can't seem to do is limit to just a manu one manufacturer's catalog and nothing else in, 
including, or I should say discluding, your user library. What if I want to search American Woodmark and nothing else? Meaning, I don't want to search my user library. I don't want to search anything else but the American Woodmark library. And that's, you know, something that's not built into the system. But there is a workaround, and it's kind of a weird one, kind of a crazy one. And Chief Architect probably really frowns upon it. Um, although I don't see why it would affect your system or screw anything up if done properly. Um, so let's take a look at that. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a filter and it's going to be, uh, let's see, let's say user, user omitted. And I'm going to click this backdrops and we'll show you why. Okay, so we're going to save that. We're going to close down Chief. And I'm going to navigate to my Chief Architect um, library folders. And in the core libraries is a JSON file that I'm going to open with. Well, I'll tell you right now, I backed this up. And if you don't back it up, I'm going to get screamed at. If I'm not already going to get yelled at, I'm going to get screamed at. So, and hopefully not. I don't think I'm, we're doing anything wrong here. Uh, I backed up my filters. This will auto reproduce itself if you just redo your filters or for some reason you screw up your filters, this will you know, recreate itself. You're not gonna mess anything up by messing with this. But I'm opening this up with Notepad and there's a couple things to look at here, which is here's that user omitted filter I just created. And you notice it's got what's called a database ID listed right here. And it just so happens to be that I know what that database ID is because what did we select? We selected one item to disclude in this filter and that one item was backdrops, right? So I'm gonna copy this string of text and I'm gonna open up my core backdrops Kaleeb, Kaleeb? is that how you say it? Kaleeb file and I'm gonna open that up with Notepad. And I'm going to do a search for that string. And lo and behold, at the bottom in this weird gibberish is that string, which seems to be the database ID that we're referring to, right? It's almost at the bottom here. So that's kind of interesting. So the next thing, you know, obviously the, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find my user library, which is back here. I'm going to take my laptop user library and right click this, open with notepad and I'm going to scroll down to kind of that same location and look for that same kind of gibberish and there we go. Now I know in the backdrops if you caught that that it was missing this first parameter right which the U I imagine stands for user and so I'm going to select this string, copy it, and I'm going to come over here and mimic what I've got up above, which is there's a comma, and let's do space, 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 a bunch of spaces. The spaces probably don't need to be there. A quotation mark. I'm going to paste that ID in there and save this catalog filter. And close everything down and then go back into chief and see what happened chief's going to take a second to load so the thought here is that maybe i can limit something to just one catalog and one catalog only and omit my own user um, catalog which would be kind of powerful if we're looking for say tile but i don't want to look through the millions of tile that i've saved in my own personal library so Let's go ahead and click this filter back over. Well, I think we're already on test, aren't we? Are we on test? No, we're on user omit is what we're looking for. So we grabbed the ID from Rab's laptop user library and we hard coded that in. It's the wrong term. We, we stuck that into the JSON. And so when I click on this, bam, look at that. All of a sudden, my search parameters are omitting my laptop's user library. Interesting. So we could limit 
searches to, you know, just a manufacturer catalog or just a bonus catalog and nothing else. And that gives you a little bit more power. So between those, all those items, I th actually think the library can be pretty powerful. Is it true Boolean? No, it's not. Um, but maybe that gets you going in the right direction. Maybe that improves your, um, your searches in your, your own user library. So again, hope that helped. And uh, go ahead and leave comments. Thanks.